Hey guys, today is a great day for me. And it's because I got my new mountain bike. The bike I bought is a pole machine. Unfortunately, when it arrived, the box looked like this. And when I unpacked it, I found that the rear triangle had been crushed in three different places. The derailleur was also crushed. The fork had snapped at the bottom and leaked oil everywhere. Fortunately for me, Pole is an amazing company. I sent them photos of the damage and they immediately got to work building me a new bike free of charge. They also took care of the claim with the shipping company on my behalf. So now my new bike is in. I hope you enjoy this video of me unboxing and building it. So my bike is finally here. It's uh, actually my second one. Uh, the first one came in almost two months ago, crushed. And this box actually looks like it has a dent in it, but I hope this one turned out better. So this is a pole brand bicycle machine I'll be unboxing and building. Size medium frame. Really been looking forward to it. this up later and find out what's in it. So far it looks pretty good. Looks like the seat post is still in there. Got everything else here on the frame. So for those of you who haven't heard of Pole before, they're a pretty progressive mountain bike company, uh, progressive in terms of modern geometry. This uh, medium frame machine has a, a wheelbase that's uh, 1,305 millimeters, which is about nine inches longer than my current bike. Also has a 63.9 uh, degree head tube angle and a very upright, almost 80 degree seat tube angle. So I'm really looking forward to trying this thing out. So far so good, nothing really looks damaged. 
uh, my last bike was crushed. And Pole is a great company. Uh, they basically made the claim with the postal service and built me a brand new bike, which I am very happy about. The machine is machined from 7075 aluminum and then it's bonded together. It's not welded. Man, this is a beautiful bike. So we got an Ergon SMA30 saddle and a Bike Yoke Revive seat post. It's nice 160 millimeter and it's pretty short for a 160 millimeter dropper bike yoke has a good reputation i've never uh used one uh, a bike yoke brand dropper before um like i said uh they sound like they're a good company so we'll see how that holds up in the long run Is a 160 mil rear shock and 180 millimeter rock shocks lyric fork. So now we'll see what's in this accessories box. the DT Swiss manual, bike yoke revive manual, cranks, and the Maxel. It's not a quick release, but that's good. It's more secure. This bike comes with the uh, Eagle GX and the SRAM Dub Cranks. Oh, sorry, the uh, Dub is the bottom bracket. Very beautiful. What else do we have? The one up performance bash guard, and we have the uh, chain guide. Rock shocks manual and spacers. Got our chain. Those very important zip ties. We'll get this torque down here to about 20 newton meters. Nice. 
I just got the derailleur hanger installed already. And we're ready for the code R brakes. It's beautiful. So we're gonna basically hand tighten these down. And we're gonna go top to bottom, left to right, a cross pattern. It's aluminum handlebars, it's not carbon fiber, so it's not as important. Um, but you don't wanna tighten these down too tight. And again, you want to go in a back and forth, up and down, kind of an X pattern. So basically get it down to hand tight, and then I will use my torque wrench and tighten it to about five Newton meters. This torque wrench is a Venzo brand. Hadn't heard them before, but it got good reviews and um, works pretty well so far. Makes an audible click and also the handle has a little snap to it once it reaches the torque. Like that. And last one. Now I'm going to install my bike yoke 160mm dropper post. Let's get the end through. Pull this up, get the cable housing in. Perfect. Now, we'll just feed it down as we slide the post in. And pull it through on the other end. All right, so I got the seat post installed. Let's check the operation. Very nice. Really like the look of this bike yoke dropper lever. Has a nice smooth action. The wheel set are uh, DT Swiss E1900. Heard good things about these. Definitely better than the wheel set I have on my current bike. So one of the first modifications that I'm making as I'm building the bike is I'm replacing the, the chain ring uh, that comes standard with the SRAM GX Eagle with an absolute black oval um, chain ring. So I read up on these. Uh, the oval shape is supposed to make it more efficient, give you more power, 
at the same time making it easier to pedal. So it looks like it's just a direct replacement and we'll see how that works out. It seems to be very well made. Um, a lot of uh, just nice machining marks, a little detail added in. And if it works like uh, it's advertised to, and like the reviews say it should, I think I'll like it. Bottom bracket here is a SRAM dub. I've never, uh, I think it's a new type of system. I've never installed one before, but the instructions make it seem pretty easy. We'll see how it goes. And there we go. Nice oval chain ring. So the other crank arm will install in this manner. You need a two millimeter Allen. And what you do is you loosen the set screw enough for this to be able to turn. Then you need to crank this towards the crank arm that way till it's up against that arm. Install it through the bottom. You need an eight millimeter Allen. And lock the other crank arm, or put the other crank arm on in the opposite direction. Then you use your eight millimeter. And I'll come over the other side here in a second once I get this started. There you go. And you tighten it down. All right, once that is tightened, you come back over here. You're a two millimeter again. And you take that same uh, nut that you moved towards the crank arm earlier and you move it back in the opposite direction. And then you screw that back now towards the bike until it just touches the spacer. You don't want to tighten it too much. So just move it over till it just touches and is against it. Then you can use the two millimeter to tighten that little lock nut down again. So my bottom bracket is finished and I'll be installing the front wheel. So my build is pretty much complete. This is my beautiful pole machine. Can't wait to get out and ride it. Last thing is the pedals. I bought some one-up components. Uh, these are composite pedal, very similar to the Chester, which I currently ride. Uh, what I like about these is the pins seem to be a little bit taller. There's a couple more of them than the Chester has and the platform size is a little bit bigger. Uh, they have good reviews, so I'm gonna try these out and hopefully they'll work out. All right, stay tuned for uh, more videos of me actually riding this thing.